Welcome back. We're now joined by Dr. Bruce Brazingston from West Texas A&M University and a little bit of a little stuffed friend here as well. How are you doing this morning? Doing great. Of course, glad to have you on this morning. Thanks for making the trip up from Canyon. So, of course, you know, we always love to talk about West Texas A&M University, all the great things happening there. But you have a specific mission right around Christmas time. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, uh, it's been going on now for at least a decade. It goes all the way back to when I was in the hospital back in 1998 with an asthma attack and after I got better and you know all respect to the, the respiratory therapists and nurses there uh, found out that there were a bunch of kids who were also in the hospital with asthma and that just kind of planted a seed and then a few years later I started collecting stuffed buffaloes for kids who have to be in the hospital over Christmas and it's just kind of mushroomed from there and had just amazing support from the WT community and now also the wider community so that's amazing. And what is the, the reaction, you know? You've been doing this for several years. When you go out and give these buffaloes to kids, what do they do? Well, I, one of the things I do is I give them to the nurses to, to distribute because, I mean, it's not, it's not about me. And I also am almost maybe a little worried that this strange guy coming in with a lot of <laughs> buffaloes. So I want the nurses to distribute them. But the, the, the nurses let me know that the kids, they, they love the buffaloes. And, um, now this year we're gonna I'm gonna get up to Northwest Texas, which is why you can't get too many buffaloes, but the kids like them a oh, lot. Love that for sure. And you know, read a little bit about your story. I mean, definitely you know, great because it kind of started. You know, you're reaching out to students to you know donate what they could, and right. it really you got this overwhelming response of people donating yeah. various things. And so that's one of the you know, you want people to get in on this, of course. You know, of course, West Texas A&M the buffalo, so you Absolutely. love having the stuffed buffalo. So you're wanting people to contribute to this. So what do people need to know if they want to help out with this great mission? Well. Uh, my office is 403 C in Old Main. Our history department office is 407. They, if they email me, uh, it'd be brazington at w, wtamu.edu. Uh, I'll find a way to get the buffaloes. Um, and uh, also, we've already had the president's office has donated a bunch of buffaloes. Uh, Lady Buff Basketball, Philanthropy, my wife's social sorority, Beta Sigma Phi. So just reach out to me, and I will, I will, I will take them to the hospital. I love that for sure. I mean, you were telling us a little bit before we came out to the interview. I mean, there's some pictures of you with some of your buffaloes. I mean, you said yeah. they're in your trunk, they're in your office. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's buffaloes everywhere. There's herds of buffaloes everywhere. Yeah. But like you said, I mean, organizations get involved with sure. it. Reading some of your story, you know, of course, a herdsman, athletic teams Absolutely. are getting in on it as well. So love to see, you know, like I said, WT doing this community outreach and like I said, helping out kids during this Christmas time. So really great to see. I mean, we love the, the WT Buffalo for sure. And we love this mission that you're doing. So one more time, where can people go? What do they need to know to help okay. out? So bbrazington at wtamu.edu, 651-2426, um, um, or I'm on Facebook. Just any way you can get a hold of me, mail them down to me. If it's in Canyon, I'll even drive by and pick them up, okay? So I have one final question. Sure. Um, buffaloes are kind of hard to come by. They're not the typical, you know, bear. Do you have a secret? Where do you no. find the buffaloes? Uh, well, they're, they're, in the they're in the bookstore. <laughs> uh, people scrounge around the neighborhood in, uh, in Amarillo, and you also go on Amazon and other places as well. But uh, that's what we do. We do the best we can. So look for your buffaloes and, and send them our way because we'll get them to you if, if they can't find you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely. Sure appreciate it. All right, well, thank you for coming talking today and best of luck with your mission for sure. And as always, as we like to say, Alyssa and I for sure, go Buffs. Go Buffs. For sure. So thank you and say for the great work that you do for the community.